All right, let's talk about safety and activity. So you recall, we talked about the idea of lower flammability limit. And remember, that's how much of some flammable substance has to vaporize for the mixture to be flammable. So we're talking about how much stuff is in the vapor. And we talked about it for pure fluids, but this obviously is still a concern for a mixture. Um, a term I forgot to introduce at that time is flashpoint. Um, and the flashpoint is the temperature at which your uh, substance or mixture gets up to the lower flammability limit. Okay, so let's dive in and do another example. All right, so uh, with a mixture, we are probably looking to use modified Reynolds law for our safety calculation. And we're gonna do that because the non-ideality might in fact matter. So to get an idea of this, here, look down at this graph of ethanol. So this is uh, ethanol and water. And if it were ideal, the graph would look something like this that I just drew on top of the green. And you see that if you just estimate it, eyeballing it, uh, there are vapor compositions are off by quite a lot if we assume it's ideal. So let's collectively see what happens uh, if we solve a problem using modified Reynolds law for uh, ethanol and water. And let's say, in fact, uh, we're going to solve a problem where our mole fraction of ethanol starts out at about 0.2 in the liquid phase. And we want to know temperature, if any, to LFL uh, at pressure that's atmospheric. And just to remind you, I've put the LFL up here. And we're going to need uh, some other information to do this because now we've got gamma in the mix. And so we're going to need a way to compute gamma. So let's use the two-parameter Margoules because it's just the easiest thing that we could possibly do, just about, as how we figure out gamma. And so the question uh, I have for you here is, will this be flammable at room temperature? Do we need 298 or uh, 25 degrees C? Higher? What's up? Uh, and I want you to work this out. Yes, I am giving you a second problem, but this one is going to have a fun result because after you've had a chance to work this out, uh, I will do an experiment and we can all see uh, if this works or not. So uh, please go ahead and give this a calculation and let me know what you get.